Amazon has invested heavily in creating its own satellite internet network, but it might now need assistance from an unexpected competitor, SpaceX. Its initiative, Project Kuiper, has been slowed by setbacks. Several of its launch partners are experiencing delays, and rocket production is moving slower than planned. Blue Origin and United Launch Alliance are still preparing their rockets, while SpaceX's Falcon 9 continues launching steadily without major issues. This makes Falcon 9 one of the few options that could help Kuiper place enough satellites in orbit on time. Project Kuiper is a $10 billion project aiming to launch more than 3,000 satellites into low Earth orbit to provide fast Internet access around the world. To meet the rules set by the United States Federal Communications Commission, Amazon must have at least 1,618 satellites in orbit by July 2026. The company plans to start offering Internet service to customers by late 2025 or early 2026. To achieve this, Amazon intends to launch large groups of Kuiper satellites using over 80 rocket flights from several providers. United Launch Alliance will handle most of these launches, with 47 flights planned, 9 using the older Atlas V rocket, which is being phased out, and 38 with their new Vulcan Centaur rocket. Ariane Space will provide 18 launches with its Ariane 6 rocket. Blue Origin has arranged for 12 flights on its upcoming new Glenn rocket, plus an option for 15 more. SpaceX was not part of the original plan, but has since been contracted for three launches using its Falcon 9 rocket. The Kuiper program began launching satellites in April 2025. The first two missions used United Launch Alliance's Atlas V rocket. Then, on July 16th, SpaceX's Falcon 9 performed its first Kuiper mission. Another Falcon 9 launch is planned for August 7th, with a third expected before the year finishes. Despite this progress, Amazon's target to finish deploying satellites by 2026 faces serious challenges. Most of the launches rely on United Launch Alliance, which is known for slower launch schedules and managing a large backlog of important military and national security missions. SpaceX, on the other hand, launches Falcon 9 rockets almost every week with a strong track record of reliability. However, with only three Falcon 9 launches reserved for Kuiper so far, SpaceX's fast pace won't fully make up for United Launch Alliance's slower delivery. One clear example of delays happened during Kuiper's second launch using United Launch Alliance's Atlas V rocket. It was initially planned for early June 2025, but had to be postponed to June 16th because of bad weather. On that day, an engineering problem was discovered in the rocket's nitrogen purge system, causing a further delay. The launch finally took place on June 23rd. Although the mission was successful, it highlights how easily delays can occur during complex rocket launches. Amazon requires a large number of United Launch Alliance's 47 scheduled Kuiper launches to happen before July 2026 to stay on track. However, United Launch Alliance faces a significant challenge. It currently has more than 70 missions waiting to be launched. Among these, 24 are critical missions for the United States military, which take priority over commercial projects like Kuiper. Additionally, United Launch Alliance supports other key projects, including the Dream Chaser space plane developed by Sierra Space. To improve its launch capacity, United Launch Alliance is constructing a second launch preparation facility at Cape Canaveral. The plan is for one facility to handle government and military missions, while the new building will focus solely on commercial launches such as those for Kuiper. This expansion aims to allow United Launch Alliance to process and launch more rockets simultaneously. Still, despite this effort, the demand for launch slots remains extremely high, making it difficult to speed up deliveries. Over in Europe, Ariane Space is still gaining experience with its Ariane 6 rocket. The rocket had its first flight in July 2024, followed by a second launch in March 2025, with a third flight scheduled for August 2025. For the entire year of 2025, Ariane Space plans to complete only about five Ariane 6 launches. The company's goal is to raise this number to nine or ten launches annually by 2027. However, this growth will take time and careful testing.
To meet Amazon's launch requirements for Kuiper, Ariane Space will need to average about six missions per year, starting in 2026 or 2027. Achieving this will depend on avoiding major delays and maintaining smooth operations throughout. Blue Origin is also behind schedule with its new Glenn rocket. The first flight is now planned for no earlier than August 15, 2025, but as of late July, they were still doing early testing. This has led many to doubt when the rocket will actually fly. While rocket partners struggle, Amazon is making satellites quickly. At its new factory in Kirkland, Washington, it can build up to five satellites a day. This means the company could make more than 3,000 satellites from this site alone. The problem is not making the satellites. It is getting them into space fast enough. Right now, SpaceX's Falcon 9 is the only rocket that can keep up with Kuiper's urgent launch schedule. Falcon 9 rockets launch about every two and a half to three days and have flown 523 missions with a success rate near 99.43%. The cost per launch is around $62 million, which is less expensive than many other rockets. For comparison, United Launch Alliance's Vulcan rocket costs about $110 million per launch, and Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket has yet to make its first flight. Because of this, Amazon might have to rely more heavily on Falcon 9 launches, even though SpaceX is a direct competitor. There was even talk a few years ago that Amazon considered buying United Launch Alliance to guarantee access to rockets. However, the price tag over $2 billion was too high, and the plan was abandoned. This leaves Amazon with fewer options and possibly greater dependence on SpaceX. An interesting detail is that every Kuiper mission flown on Falcon 9 so far has used a brand new rocket, not one that was reused. This practice increases costs. Some speculate this might be intentional, to raise project expenses and justify larger budgets, or to make Falcon 9 launches appear less cost-effective compared to other providers. Alternatively, it might simply be a cautious decision to ensure the highest safety for Kuiper's initial satellites. In the past, Amazon has faced questions from its own investors about not choosing SpaceX earlier. In 2022, the Cleveland Bakers and Teamsters Pension Fund sued Amazon, claiming it failed to act in the best interests of shareholders when picking Kuiper's launch providers. They said Amazon never seriously considered SpaceX, even though it is the cheapest and most reliable launcher. Instead, Amazon gave contracts to Blue Origin, United Launch Alliance, and Ariane Space for a total of 83 launches. According to the lawsuit, in 2020, when Jeff Bezos was still chief executive officer of Amazon, the company was already talking to Blue Origin and others about the launch contract. But SpaceX was not part of the talks, possibly due to the rivalry between Bezos and Elon Musk. Now, with delays piling up and deadlines approaching, it seems Amazon might have to rely more on Falcon 9 to get Kuiper running on time. The coming months will show whether the company changes its plan and adds more launches from SpaceX or keeps trying to push forward with its current rocket partners despite the risks.